Okay, here we go. Let's do it. My team is currently hiking in the mountains of northern Colombia. It is hot, it is humid, and we are miles from civilization. We got here the same way those before us did, by being obsessed with legends. And no legend has sowed more destruction than El Dorado. We're hiking into territory that is so uncharted it might as well be on another planet. In fact, everything you're seeing from here on out, you may be the first people to see it since the Tyrona were here 400 years ago. We're basically off trail from this point onwards. Just going. Ooh. Watch out. You okay? Yeah. It's a challenge. It's a real challenge. <sighs> hey guys, let's get rain covers at the ready. I think it's gonna dump. We're gonna get wet. It's astounding that the Tyrona built cities in this environment, and easy to see why so many of the Spanish who searched for them never returned. Whoa, 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 Brian! 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 Yeah. Are you okay? Okay. After sliding off the ridge, my director of photography, Brian, was saved from a far more dangerous fall by a tangle of vines. Okay. Our local guides raced to the rescue, cutting away the vegetation. Now, Rob, your first uh, outing yeah. on Expedition Unknown. Yeah. Easier or harder than you, than you were told? I... I, I just want to survive the one, then we'll worry about the second one. <laughs> Welcome to the team, man! <laughs> Freed from the vines, we toss Brian a rope and haul him back up to somewhat safer ground. Yay, Brian! Good man. Woo! Crisis averted, we forge ahead. We're in. Okay, right behind you. I gotta say, I have made a career out of going to very remote, difficult places. I have never been in a jungle environment that was more challenging than this one, ever. This, this is madness. Whew. We finally find some relatively level ground. I'd be thrilled except for the river running through the middle of it. We could almost do it here, but it's a little too spicy. Yeah, I mean, if you if you take a tumble right here, you're going down. You know, you're going down. You're going down all the way to the river. And it's raining, so does that mean this thing's gonna get fatter? Yeah, this is gonna slow up. Okay, let's get moving, guys. Before it gets too heavy. The recent rain is going to make this river impassable. We cross now, or we don't cross at all. All right, here we go, nice and slow, everybody. The rushing water nearly pulls me off my feet. Nice and easy. A little deeper here. If someone gets swept up in this current, they'll be in Brazil by sunset. Almost there! Something my field producer, Dave Deuce, learns the hard way. Ah! Deuce! Grab him! Grab his arm! You okay? He's okay. Another close call. After cheating disaster, my producer Dave Deuce catches his breath, and we soldier on in search of a lost Tyrona city deep in the Colombian jungle. So how are we doing GPS-wise? Um, let me check. Let's take a look at where we're at here. Here we go. Okay, so. Um, according to the GPS, we're sort of halfway up. Uh, we still have a ways to go. Undertaking this hike is such an education on why all this stuff is still off the map. Oh, yeah. This is where you start understanding why, uh, one, research is so difficult, even why looting was so difficult, yeah. and why the Spanish had such a hard time with these folks. One of the things I keep thinking about as I slip and fall and trudge up this thing <laughs> is there might be nothing here. 
Oh, for sure. You know, that's, that's one of the risks of uh, exploration. One of the benefits with the LiDAR data is that uh, we're moving towards a target. Whereas before we had the LiDAR data, we were just like moving around in the forest. Right, at least we've got a guide now. At least we've got yeah. a target. Yeah. For the Tyrona who connected all these sites with paths and stone stairs, reaching other cities was an afternoon stroll. 400 years later, the jungle has swallowed everything. Now, just seeing if something is out here takes decades of archaeological research, a cutting-edge helicopter LiDAR scan, and a group of people nuts enough to trek out here. Well, you know, maybe we find just a perfectly preserved staircase and just walk right up. Don't think so. <laughs> Be positive, Santiago, could happen. OK, well, I guess we keep climbing, yeah? Yeah. All right, cool. let's keep climbing, come on. Don't fall and die, everybody. The break's over, and the hike starts again. Okay. The final push up the mountain is punishing. In the rain, it would be impossible. Thankfully, the weather holds, and we keep going higher. It seems to go forever, until it doesn't. We're on level ground. Woo! OK. Coordinates-wise, right. how we doing? We are where we should be. We're here. We are here. This yeah. is it. This is it. Nice All work. Right, man. Nice job, everybody. Yeah, we are on the coordinates. OK. Santiago, I don't know how to break this to you. I do not see a lost city. Of course not. We still need to verify that something is actually out here. Right. Yeah. First thing to look for, flagstones. Flagstones, those, yeah. those flat stones, right. Yeah. Flagstones, grinding stones, walls, anything that looks made by humans. OK. That's so, where verification comes in. Places are lost for a reason. Absolutely. Machetes out? Absolutely. Machetes out. We get to work, clearing centuries of growth, while keeping a sharp eye out for any evidence of human construction underneath. Josh, hear that? Is that stone? It's stone. Are you sure? <laughs> hear that? That does sound like stone. Hey, let's tear it back. Come on. Hey, let me cut some of it. Watch out. Yeah. OK. Lots of roots. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, look, 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 look. Ha-ha! Look at that! Is it a wall? Yeah, it is. Oh, definitely a wall. Unbelievable! All right. It's a wall. You got pottery. What's that? You got pottery. Hey! Pottery, look at that. So it's dark in the center, sort of reddish on the outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fine red type, tight on a period. We got a wall, we got pottery, we got a site. This is crazy. The Spanish spent centuries searching for El Dorado and we just found traces of a city that may have fueled the legend. After clearing a portion of the wall, we scour the area, uncovering more evidence of habitation. Oh, we got more stone. Come here. Yeah, Come over here, yeah, check us out. Yep. Look. Look at this. There is stonework everywhere. Oh, yeah. There's more over here at the edge of a ring right here. Look at that. Right here. Look up here, there's a ring. We've got the edge of a ring right here. And we've got another edge of a ring right there. All this is a terrace. Just like Ciudad Perdita. Just like Ciudad Big Perdita. open terrace. Yeah, yeah. 60 feet across. Yeah. Come on. These terraced platforms would have been connected by stone paths and covered in round, thatched roof buildings. The wood structures may be gone, but we still find traces of what life was like inside. We got a grinding stone over here. Oh, look at that. See, grinding Unbelievable! Stone. Grinding stone means people. This, this is kitchen, this, this is, is eating, this is family, yeah. this is everything. That's what it is. And it's just been sitting here waiting to be found. Think about the last person to touch this, you uh, know? That was 400 years ago. It's absolutely crazy. It's awesome. Dude. That's one of the things that I love about this job. This is so cool. I mean, that's history right there. All right. Awesome. All right, let's keep looking. <laughs> 